Hi everyone, this is Chronicle. Okay, I'm going to talk about this character, Letitia, and she's from the Shadow Messiah from Verbal Chronicle. And then right now she has this job plus, which is actually not so bad, but then before that, she is already one of the best magic buffer. Yeah. So this job plus will further increase the magic buff and then with some other power-ups. Yeah. And then right now I don't have her new mementos yet. So I equip with this old Zaha mementos, which is also for her as well. And then with this gears and memory, and I already mastered all of her gates and the Kaiga Nasal level 20. And then for the set bonus, you can either equip with physical attack set or magic attack set. But then I strongly recommend this physical attack set. Yeah, later I go to talk about it. And then with anything you like for the second set. And then with physical attack and slash attack and magic attack and healing power or medicine jewel either way. And then any resistance you like. Yeah. Okay, next is I'm going to go through about her skill changes plus her new mementos at the arena. Okay, let's go. Okay, her overall status is about this high. Thanks to this leader skill, which greatly increased her M attack and with all attack and cast time reduce. Yeah, this is still considered one of the best leader skill in the game. Yeah, even though it doesn't increase any HP, at least it greatly increased her magic attack. And then next is her normal attack. Okay, about this high and then... Okay. And then about this attack formula, it is still the same as previous, before the job plus. Yeah, totally the same. It is depending on her magic attack, dex and speed. And it is similar with the Holy Barrel and Katana user. Yeah. And then next is her main ability changes. Okay, for this first skill, it added extra, greatly reduced the cast type, plus healing power up. And it will disappear after when the buff panel animates for 3 types. Yeah. And then the AOE is 3 times 3. Yeah. Same as the previous job plus, I think. So this is very good for all types of magic attacker with cast type. And then this is. For this second skill, it added extra magic attack up for 3 times, along with the M attack up. Yeah. And then if you master her 5th gate, it greatly increased the magic attack and increased the AOE radius. So basically it's similar with her old job, except that the magic attack increased. Yeah, so the overall attack power increased a bit. And then this is... Okay, for this 4th skill, it added extra speed debuff for 3 turns along with the water magic slash attack. And then, when you unlock her Burbell skill, when you reach level 85, level, and after when you clear the key quest, she will have this skill upgrade which increase her skill power and only the enemies will be getting the damage. Yeah. And then the damage is... Okay, about 7k and then about 9k. Okay, actually. And then next is... Okay, this last skill is her new added skill from her job plus. And then it will conceal all of her HP. So basically, when she use this skill, she will dice. Yeah, so beware. And then your ally will have all damage shield for one time, as well as if the target is buff stories, she will transfer all of her status 100%, except for the agility or speed 10% for fighters. Yeah, so basically, this is a very powerful status transfer. Yeah, it's only very good for buff stories only. Yeah, so you can actually use this skill on Zaha's favorite. Or uh, maybe Spika, Undex, and Kudan. Yeah, as long as their physical attack skill or magic attack skill is very high. So this is actually quite good for raid boss as well. Yeah, even bot raid. Okay, next is her sub ability. For this second skill, 
it added extra status email for fighters on any airline plus physical defense for treaters. Yeah, so this is five turns, and this is only three turns. Yeah, so beware. And then the shooting range is one to three, without any cast time. It is instant cast. Very nice. Okay, next is for this third skill, it added extra HP recover, and then with the magic attack up for three turns. Yeah, so this is also not bad. And then the HP recover is depending on her M attack status. And then it recovers about about this much. Okay, next is okay. This last skill is also her new added job skill from the job plus, and then it will consume her HP about fifteen percent, and she will transfer her all elemental status and move plus one to any one ally. Yeah, so basically her elemental resistance will be lower. Yeah, so beware. And then the shooting race is 3. Yeah, so this skill is quite good for PvP and some of the health quests. But then beware her elemental resistance down. So she might die quite easily. Okay, next is her master ability. Okay, this BJ ability is from her new mementos. And it will recover her jewel. And also increase her speed for 3 turns. Yeah, and then if you mass break this mementos. It will further increase her speed buff and jewel recover. But then, her jewel is max from the start. Yeah, so it will be a bit waste if you use this skill from the start. Yeah, even if you want to use the speed buff. So it's quite good to use this skill when her jewel is about 50%. Yeah, so that at least it will recover the jewel and then she will be using her skill again. Okay, next is... Okay, this accessory is from her new Mementos Vision Girl Award and then only Water Elemental War Stories can be equipped as well as Lonely Overs. Yeah, and then it will increase Healing Power and Maximum Jewel and reduce the skill jewel cost. Yeah, so this accessory is actually quite good other than Leticia. And then for the vulnerability is when she besides any ally, she and your ally will have dash and magic attack. So this vulnerability is not so bad and it's very good for all types of quests. Okay, next is I'm going to use this skill on herself and let's see her overall status increase by how much and the skill attack power, everything. Okay, let's go. Okay, her magic attack is about this high, not bad. And then let's see her normal attack should be increased a bit. And then, okay. And how about this skill? Not bad and not bad. And then how about the other skill? Like this skill, I think nothing much. Okay. And okay with the death sentence. And then this skill will reduce the opponent healing power by 50%, I think. Okay, and how about this skill from Zaha Mementos or her Mementos? And then with the Strong versus the Fire. Okay, nothing much. Okay, because this skill damage increase if it's a War Stories plus Dark Elemental Unit. So basically it's Zaha. Yeah, and some of the character. And then this is from Mia Vigil Ability. Should be decent damage. Okay. Okay. Okay, next is I'm going to use this strong versus of fire plus this slash up and let's see the total damage increase by how much. I think a bit. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, let's see the damage. Okay, it increased a bit. And this one. Okay, and Ooh, about 21k But then, normal And how about this skill? Okay Okay, nothing much And then This skill, I think increase a bit Okay, a bit only 
And then this one is not even a slash of uh, water elemental. Okay, next is I'm going to use this skill to increase Kuda status as well as this skill with the status transfer. Yeah, and let's see the Kudan total power will be how much. Okay, right now Kudan status is about this high. And then... Okay, after the status transfer, his overall status is about this high for fighters. Very nice. And then let's see this how much. Okay, and then... <laughs> very, very nice. And then how about if I use the Holy Brother Shura Charge? Okay, his physical attack is this much for one turn. Very, very good. Just with Holy Brother Charge time 5, this one. And then let's see this same skill again. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. Overkill. <laughs> yeah, with just Letitia's status as well. And Holy Brother Charge Time 5. That's all. Nothing much. <laughs> so, conclusion is after the Job Plus, I find that her power up is only about 20 to 25%. Yeah, not much. Because before the Job Plus, she is already one of the best magic buffer. Yeah, in the first place. And then after the Job Plus, it only increased a bit magic power from the second skill. And then with the new skill that transfer her status to what stories. Since the elemental transfer is only very useful in certain situations. Yeah, not much. And then her status email and HP recover skill upgrade. You can actually use this merchant side ability. Yeah, I mean it is the same. But the only difference is whether you want to use the single target plus Physical Defense or Magic Attack Up Buff for 3 turns or AOE Status Email and HP Recover. Yeah, about the same. And then about her new Mementos, it is actually quite optional because as I said earlier, the attack power is only increased 25. Not really that much. But then if you are talking about PBB and maybe some of the health quests, it might be useful. Especially the accessory is actually very good. Not just Letitia, but also for other first stories water unit. And then lastly is, regardless on the rune set, if you decide to use the status transfer for the physical attacker, you need to equip with the physical attack set, 10%. But then, if you decide to use her for the magic attacker status transfer, you can just equip the magic attack set. And you can actually start with the Emma status transfer buff. Yeah, so that your magic attacker from the war stories attack will be higher. Like Ira or Mia. Yeah, these two. So I guess that's all about the Tisha. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys got any question about her, please comment. See ya, Sanara. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
当然の結果ね